of the American people an overview of the debate that's happening here today. Why are there three members of Congress controlling time on the floor? I thought there were only two parties. Nope. When it comes to spending, there's the uniparty. There is only one party So today. That is because Republicans and Democrats have united to kick the can down the road. They're, they wanted to control all time for debate today, but my colleague, Mr. Roy from Texas, came down here and used a parliamentary procedure so that the people who take their oath to the Constitution most seriously, the people who are most concerned about debt, the people who want to represent the good folks back home, have a voice here today because of my colleague Chip Roy, who's claimed 20 minutes in opposition. And what are we doing here today? Well, we're going to pass a CR. We're going to kick the can down the road. Is that going to solve any problems? No, it creates another crisis next week. You see, that's what they want, another crisis. They want to threaten you with the shutdown so they can get more spending. But is this a clean CR? We're told you can't add anything to it? No. It deals with student aid in this CR. Do the American people, are they concerned about student aid right now? Is that the most pressing issue to address in this spending bill? We have a crisis at the southern border. We could add one sentence to this bill that would help tremendously. Just say none of the funds hereby appropriated may be used to disassemble border security erected by the states on our border. Put that one sentence in this continuing resolution. That would help tremendously. I, I am worried that we're not going to prevail today, the third group who is debating here against the uniparty. And if the other side prevails, what will happen? What will happen today, this evening, after this passes? Will we stay here and work hard for another week to get the 12 bills done, the 12 separate appropriations bills? No. Guess what we're going to do this evening? Everybody's already got their plane tickets. They're sending us home early. Congratulations. You moved the crisis down another week. Go home. Have a four-day weekend. We're going to let staff and a few members in the Senate and a few members in the House write this big bill, and then you can take it or leave it next week. Gone is any semblance of regular order from this process. What we have is what the swamp always does. And I urge my colleagues to oppose this continuing resolution that does nothing but kick the can down the road. And I yield back to my colleague from Texas.